Hey, how you guys doing? This is William Myers from Ants Outdoors, and what's on my head here is a little cool flashlight that Through Night sent me. Um, if you recall, or if you watched my videos not too long ago, I did a video on the TH10, and somebody from Through Night actually contacted me and said, "Hey, great video on that TH10. We have a new one out, the TH20. Would you like to check it out?" After looking at the specs and things like that, I was like, "Yeah, I'll go ahead and send it out," which is actually the second time that I've had anyone actually send something to me personally. Usually I just kind of get Chris's old stuff. Like, hey, this is cool, I'll do a video on it. <laughs> you know, hey, this works, I like it, I'll do a video on it. So, um, I've had this light as standard on my channel. I always test things out forever. You know, the, the people from Through Night are even like, hey, come on, get this video out. You know, I'm like, not yet, calm down, I'm still testing it. The reason why I do that is because, I mean, obviously you can see, you look up the TH20, there's 100,000 videos probably on YouTube right now about it. You know, I didn't just take this out of the box, throw it on my head and say, hey, let's do a video on it. I've had this thing for probably six months. You know, I put it in water, I've ran the batteries out, I've put new batteries in, I've charged different batteries, I've charged, uh, tried uh, 14, what are they, what are those batteries, Chris? Not 18650s, but 14, 14500s, that's right. You know, basically the complement to uh, a double A battery that goes into these are double A compatible or 14500. 14500s, obviously, they run better, longer, brighter. That's the only thing basically I can say about that. This light is, again, from Through Night, the TH20. It is way smaller and lighter than the TH10. That way, you know, that little center headband that goes down here, I ditched that as soon as I got this light. Absolutely not necessary. I don't even, I don't, can't remember if it, if it, this came with one. I've had this light for so long. If it did, absolutely not necessary because this is super light. Nine times out of ten, anytime I get a headlamp that has one of those center straps, that's the first thing that goes. I cannot stand those things. But other than that, this is incredibly simple to use. You know, you have your battery compartment that's twist right here for open and close, and then on and off. Right here. One button, simple clicky. Great. I mean, it's like they almost took the, te the technology for like a handheld baton torch and put it into a headlamp. Very simple tube design, very bright, one click. This also has um, like their infinite brightness mode where if you just press and hold, you see you're going to get those stages of brightness until it flashes. And that's as far up as it's going to go. Hold it again. Starts to come down. Until it flashes again. That's as low as it's going to go. Let's go ahead and bring it back up. Wait until it flashes. Go ahead and turn it off. You know, this also has those other features like, you know, SOS and things like that. You know, I just, I really don't use those. <clears throat> um, hardly ever unless you need to, right? Uh, this does not have the, the gimmicky uh, strobe or anything like that on it. Again, something that I just never use unless I'm playing around messing with Chris. Hey, look, you have permanent retina damage. Same thing it does to me. Anyway, uh, so all the pertinent uh, information that you need, you know, like the lumens, stages, things like that, will be somewhere around here. You know, Chris is editing my videos right now, so I'll make him do that. Sorry, dude. Uh, anything else other than the fact that this might this light for me the weight of it how light it is and how long it lasts in the field how bright it is yeah, I've used this for hunting frogs I've used this for uh, just a array of different things up to the high lumens that I want to shine out animals frogs mostly because <clears throat> it's illegal to hunt with a, a light other than frogs and to the low lumens for just digging stuff out of my pack inside camp all right, so this is the daytime portion of this video. We're gonna be waiting till it gets a little bit darker. We're gonna throw the camera back on. You know, as always, it's really hard for me to express and to show on camera, even in the darkness, how bright or floody a light is, but we're gonna to try to do the best that we can and show you this product. It's one that I am really impressed with, and hopefully you enjoy one if you get one. All right, guys, so obviously, as you can see, it's nighttime right now. So, you know, we're going to be able to show you as much as we can on camera what exactly this light can do. So I'm going to ask Chris to go ahead and turn his off, and I'm going to point my light down the trail. All right, so this is pretty much on high, as high as it'll go. 
You need to get closer to some trees for it to show up on camera since it's not like a like really this. tight beam. There, yeah. I can see that. I mean, that's why I like it. I mean, it's not a really tight, focused, hot spot beam. It's nice and floody. You know, I can see all around me. Wherever I look, the circumference of my vision, my field of view is lit up. And I really like that about this light. Again, another thing that I like about this light is that it is lightweight. You know, it's aircraft aluminum construction. It's not heavy at all. It's not nearly as, he as heavy as the TH-10 was. You know, I really like this light. It does not last as long as the TH-10 did, but, you know, it, it lasts me at least all weekend when I'm out camping, so that's good enough for me. You put in one of those, what, 17500s? 14500s. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, 14500. And, you know, when you get home from a weekend trip, you can charge it back up. You know, you can go through that infinite, what is it, infinite lumens or whatever. Turn it all the way down until it flashes. Now that's moonlight. That's as low as this light's going to go. You know, and that's perfect for in-camp use when, uh, you know, I'm digging through my haversack, digging through my bag, stuff like that. And then all you got to do is press and hold it, and it brings it back up. And you can stop this at any time. You know, that's high enough for whatever you're doing. And then you can just bring it back up. Well, it'll go down from that point. All right, now it's coming back up. Now it's back up to high. I mean, if I'm walking through a trail, this is more than adequate for nighttime, you know, getting back from a fishing hole, getting back from a trap line, et cetera, et cetera. This is more than enough. You know, like I said, I've tested this light for more than six months now. I've used it for catching frogs down here where we're at right now at the riverfront. You know, I've used it for a lot of things. It works. It does everything that a light should do. It's high enough to flood out animals. It's low enough to be in camp just to dig through your bag. All right, guys. So there's the TH20 from Through Night, a light that I really like. Um, you know, it's been my personal light for about six months now. I like the ease of use. Just click on, click off. You know, there's no fumbling around with the switch like uh, with a pencil, pretzel, whatever they're called. <laughs> Pretzel tech or whatever they are. Pretzel. You know, yeah, they they're sometimes their clickies are really hard. This is super easy. Click on, click off. Not hard at all to use. All right, guys. Well, if you like this video, I appreciate it. If you like, share, and subscribe, visit www.manusoutdoorsllc. There's lots of free knowledge there for you, books for you guys to download at your leisure and read. Visit the shop. Shop at the Amazon store. Helps me and my channel out a lot. And hopefully, we'll see you out in the woods.